What are your top two picks for the weekend, Lauren? Uh, I say if you want to go to the theater, check out Crazy Rich Asians. It's a good time. You still need to go. (laughs) And then I'm torn between Juliet Naked and Blaze, but either one. Yeah, I'm going to say at the theater, uh, Crazy Rich Asians, because that's where I'm going to be at some point. Uh, And I would say on Netflix to, to all the boys I've loved. Oh, yes, that's right. I f- yes, I have, have to add that to my queue this weekend. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're all on the same page on Crazy Rich Asians. I mean, it is the movie event of the weekend. I hope we're. I hope it does even more than $25 million, that it, you know, it's tracking. It would be nice to see it be, you know, as much of an outside success. I mean, Wonder Woman and Black Panther, not to go back to the litmus test thing, but both of them sort of outpaced their, their box office forecasts. And it, I wouldn't be shocked if Crazy Rich Asians does too, given the following that it has. But but other than that, I'll, I'll vouch for, again, uh, We the Animals, um, which sort of exists in kind of the the sort of filmmaking mode that I I kind of most respond to, which is just very stripped down and and intimate and and interesting, um, and and Raul Castillo is gives one of the I think the performances of the year.